Hello, I am Ashwin Naik. Uh, I am an healthcare entrepreneur and I have been working in the area of uh, creating access to healthcare in tier 2, tier 3 towns uh, over the last two decades and uh, initially set up a hospital company called Vatsalya Healthcare. So, private healthcare in India is about 30 years old and for the first 20 years, the majority of the focus was on the urban uh, metro areas and the tier 2, tier 3 towns were largely neglected from good quality healthcare. What happens because of this is obviously there is a lack of access in the small towns but also because the majority of the doctors are in the big towns, the population uh, which is 70% in the small towns has to travel to large uh, cities for medical care. It is well documented that uh, more than 50% of our population in India in small town travels to a large urban hospital for uh, treatment for secondary care and tertiary care. So, 20 years ago this was the scenario. But over the last 10 years what has happened is people in the small towns have also become used to good quality health care and they are demanding. So, lots of hospital chains have started to look at tier 2, tier 3 towns. Now, if you look at the scenario in these small towns, a uh, small segment is supported by private health care. Large number of this is supported by the government health system. And what is happening over the last few years is because the private healthcare system is expensive, not many people are able to afford it. With the introduction of health insurance schemes like Ayushman Bharat and other schemes, the barrier to entry, barrier to access this care is becoming lower and more and more people hopefully in the future will be able to access good quality care. So, I think the things that have come together in the last few years is one is uh, developing private healthcare infrastructure in small towns. Second is um, creation of these new insurance programs supported by government and third is uh, quality of uh, care demanded by the people in these small towns. So, if you look at the um, challenges and the opportunities in tier 2, tier 3 towns, healthcare in these places has been focused on lack of three things availability, affordability and accessibility. And if you look at each one of them, each of these areas provide a, a great opportunity for uh, new organizations, new startups to play a role. Let us take this, uh, take these one by one. The first one is about accessibility. Lots of uh, people do not have access to primary care, secondary care in these small towns and hence they travel to larger cities. So, there is an opportunity to create a network of clinics and hospitals in these small towns. The second problem is of availability. If you look at the large infrastructure in these towns, it is largely government infrastructure. But as we all know, the doctors and nurses are not available in the hospital. So, people go there and then they do not get the service and get disappointed. So, how do you create technology for uh, providing service even if the doctors are not there, even if the trained staff is not there using technology like telemedicine or remote diagnosis. The third one is about affordability. Even if there is service available, large majority of people in tier 2, three, tier 3 towns cannot afford these services. So, the opportunity to bundle services in the form of insurance, in the form of subscription, in the form of uh, new age products is available which can be leveraged in these towns. So, uh, when we look at this problem of uh, healthcare access in small towns, one of the things that we uh, experience ourselves while setting up a network of hospitals called Vatsalya was that we not only have to set up good infrastructure, but we also have to have well trained doctors and nurses. So, an equal mix of building capacity in terms of infrastructure and also uh, training good quality of people is required. The second thing that we have noticed while running this hospital network across Karnataka is that majority of the healthcare challenges can be solved outside the hospital, in the community, uh, in the uh, uh, basically looking at other issues which impact health outside of hospital. And all of this I have tried to summarize in a book that I have recently written uh, called The Healthcare Game Changers, which basically documents 12 innovators stories from around the world who are looking at solving this problem in different countries and taking healthcare outside of the hospital. Um, and during this journey, when we came across the issue of COVID and access in these small towns, 
we felt that we should use this opportunity to build capacity for the long term and that gives rise to Mission ICU. Mission ICU is a, a collaborative effort between various uh, NGOs, various startups and others to build capacity of ICU across India by strengthening the government uh, hospital infrastructure. The way it works is we go to different parts of the country, identify which government hospitals have lesser number of ICU capacity compared to the population they serve. And then we work with various donors to facilitate setting up and monitoring of this ICU equipment. So over the last uh, 8 to 10 months, we have set up about 110 of such ICU beds. And our mission is to set up 1000 ICU beds across the country over the next couple of years. And in this, we are joined by multiple NGOs, multiple multinational companies, and also private organizations who are very keen to see that infrastructure like this is developed in remotest part of the country. You know, after running hospitals in tier two, tier three towns for about 12 years, there were lots of learnings. There was lots of experiences. And uh, I wanted to summarize that in, a, in, a, in some form. At the same time, I also wanted to see what else is happening around the world to create access to healthcare. So I spent some time researching about it and found that there are multiple examples of wonderful innovators across the world doing amazing things. So I captured all of that in, in a book called The Healthcare Game Changers, which basically is a compilation of 12 stories from innovators from around the world who are changing the healthcare system and taking healthcare outside of the hospitals. So uh, the hope is that this would serve as an inspiration for other people who are trying to solve similar problems of creating access in tier two, tier three, or maybe in rural areas as well.